And we sat down yesterday with former Florida Governor Jeb Bush. He has a new book out called Immigration Wars, Forging an American Solution. It is published by Simon & Schuster, a division of CBS. And we began by asking if Republicans need to reach out to women and minorities if they want to take back the White House. Absolutely. I mean, you know, one thing is to say, well, we win um, off your elections. That's great. And uh, that's true. But in the uh, presidential races, you have significantly larger number of people voting and uh, you have to make sure that uh, their voice is heard and that your message, you know, is for everybody. And I think this is solvable. I don't think this is a uh, impossible task. Uh, wasn't that long ago people were writing off the Democratic Party. Now I think it's a little premature to write off the Republican Party. Your brother got 44 percent of the Hispanic vote. Mm-hmm. Mitt Romney got 27 percent of the Hispanic vote. In his first post-election interview, he said the reason that minorities voted for Obama was because of Obamacare. Do you agree with that? No, I don't. I don't. I think that if you send a signal that we want your vote, but you can't join our club, can't be on our team, you're not going to get as many people as you'd like. So what was wrong with Romney's message? It was not an a open message. It was, it was one that, um, you know, for a guy as good as he could have been as president, uh, I think he got off in the primary, got off to the, you know, to a wrong start and uh, never really recovered. Look, this guy, it's not, this is not a problem of Mitt Romney's. Romney's a good, decent man, and I wish he was president of the United States today. It's a problem of our, of the conservative movement and of the Republican Party. Many people wish that you would be uh, the nominee in 2016. Where do you stand on that process? Uh, I'm, I've decided not to think about it for a while, <laughs> and I have the discipline to do that. Uh, so that's what I'm, that's the status. In the interim, I hope to have a voice that I can, you know, share views that might might be so appropriate. when do you have to start thinking about it after you know, the midterms in 2000 maybe around then 14. sometime mm-hmm. I don't know I hadn't even I haven't figured that part out yet but I've figured out that I don't want to think about it now but it's interesting that you're not ruling it out I'm not ruling it out that I guess is interesting I don't I don't find it that interesting <laughs> but it's uh, it's uh, you know it's just something that uh, will have to happen later on not now This book is getting a lot of attention, not only because of Jeb Bush's political futures, but his position on immigration, which some people say he has changed. He told you uh, a while back that he supported a pathway to citizenship. Now he's talking more about a pathway to residency, more in line with what Marco Rubio and others say they are supporting. People are picking up on that and looking at the book. Exactly.